This is video one of our solutions lab. And the goal of this lab is to determine the percent yield of a chemical reaction where two aqueous solutions form a precipitate. Remember um, that precipitate is a solid formed when two solutions combine. That doesn't always happen, but it will for this experiment. All right. Uh, just a couple things is we're going to use molarity, we'll use our mole train, we're going to use the dilution formula. Uh, let's see, the, really we have to prep a couple solutions and that really is what the pre-lab is going to focus on. But I think we should first look at our reaction. Sodium hydroxide plus copper 2 nitrate forms sodium nitrate plus copper 2 hydroxide. I'm not going to say much about that, but you're going to have to go to your common ion table and look up the charge of sodium look up the charge of hydroxide and say, oh, Na, what's the charge? Oh, is Na plus OH, what's the charge? Is OH minus, is that balance? And then I can write my formula, NaOH. Okay, if not, then it would be NaOH2 or NaOH3, but figure out what the charges are and write that correct formula for NaOH. You know, do the same thing for copper two nitrate, the same thing for sodium nitrate, same thing for copper two hydroxide. And then you're gonna balance the coefficients in front. So you're writing the correct balance equation for that. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do, um, you're gonna prep some solutions in the lab. So you have to know the amounts of stuff you need to prep those. So let's look at the NaOH solution that you're gonna be using in this lab, which is the sodium hydroxide. Give you a hint what that formula is and calculate the volume of 0.1 molar NaOH that, uh, or 1.00 molar NaOH that needs to be diluted to 30 milliliters to make 0.50 molars NaOH. So if I dilute one molar solution, it's gonna be less concentrated. So that number is getting smaller. So to me, it looks like I'm trying to calculate a volume um, that I'm supposed to start with, okay? So I have a starting volume and I have a starting molarity and then I'm gonna dilute it. So my final volume and molarity are these numbers right here. Okay, so you gotta figure out what that volume is or how much one molar stuff I'm gonna use. And because it's more concentrated, I'm gonna expect a number smaller than 30. Okay, less milliliters of something more concentrated will balance more of milliliters of something less concentrated. Okay, once you get that number, then you're gonna explain how you would make the NaOH solution. So essentially, what you're gonna do is say, um, really include, I took whatever number of milliliters of 1.0 molar NaOH, and I added how many ever milliliters of water or enough water to get to 30 milliliters. So tell what you're combining and mixing together. And that's the verbal part once you get the correct volume right here. Okay, so that's one solution and you're making it from this one molar sodium hydroxide solution. Okay, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna make a solution from solid copper, nit uh, copper nitrate solutions. Okay, so you're gonna have to make this from a solid. And a hint here is, is you know the liters, you know the molarity, so you should be able to figure out the moles. If you know the moles, you should be able to figure out the grams you're gonna to need to use. So yes, you're gonna to have to fit, calculate the amount of grams that you need to use here. So there's a little bit of a catch with the molar mass here. This is a hydrated compound, which means it's, even though it's a solid, it, it has moisture attached, which actually gives it its dark blue color. Otherwise it would be a lot more dingy without that so that, 3H2O isn't a multiplying thing. It just means it's loosely attached. If you heat it up, you can drive that off. Or when we dissolve it in water, it just becomes part of the water in the solution. So that's gonna go away and we can ignore it. But when we weigh this out, we wanna include that in our molar mass so we're getting enough copper nitrate. So when I do the molar mass, you're gonna take the molar mass of copper, you got one of those. And I think you can look at this and say, oh, how many nitrogen times its molar mass? how many oxygen times its molar mass. And then you're gonna take the molar mass of three waters. So no oxygen, 16, two hydrogens are two. 
So essentially, I'm going to take molar mass 18 times 3 and add that to the mix. So it kind of did a lot of this for you, but you're going to have to do the other part and figure out the right molar mass. Then if you know liters, you know the molarity, you know this molar mass, you can get to the grams of stuff that you need here of this compound here. I'll give you a hint, it's going to be more than one gram and less than five grams. So that can give you an idea if you're in the ballpark or doing that right. Okay, then it talks about preparing the solution or explaining it. And what are you going to do with that solid that you measure out? Well, I'm going to add it to water. So, you know, take this solid and add it to how much, essentially, how much water or how much is my total solution going to be at the end. That's what your explanation is going to involve. So ultimately, you're going to combine these things together. A little preview, you're going to get a precipitate. It's going to look something like this. So I don't know if you can see this right here. It'll be a copper hydroxide precipitate, which is kind of wet. We'll dry that out, but you're going to see more in the second video when it's about procedure. So thanks for watching and watch video two where you can see the procedure and the actual experiment.